Hello, please try to quickly summarize your intents and goals for this meeting. Oh, you're not here for business? Well, it just makes me even more nervous. All right, then perhaps we should sit down and discuss things in a little more detail. Oh, and you can call me your grace. That's what they all call me down in the fortress, and, well, I kind of got used to it. I was once summoned by Nervilet to discuss some matters with him in his office. When I approached the Palais Mimonia, I saw him standing by the road, completely drenched in the rain. I held out an umbrella for him, and, well, he thanked me politely. His expression was a little distressed, I guess. I can only assume that I had disturbed him in the middle of something. <laughs> Miss Farina displayed a uh, severe lack of interest in my trial and excused herself early, probably because I pleaded guilty to all charges as soon as they were announced. Disappointing the Hydra Archon is a big deal, so suppose I got no choice but to keep gifting her copious amounts of the highest quality tea. Sijuin, the head nurse, possesses all the virtues associated with the medical profession and genuinely cares for the well-being of everyone around her. She seems to have picked up some bad habits from me, though, like frequently betting with her melazine friends over who'd be able to put more stickers on my belongings. Huh? Uh, no. Um, not actually bothered by it. Chlorand is the best champion duelist you can find. Her combat prowess is already the stuff of legend. I've never fought her myself, but that's because there's never been a need for it. Most inmates seem to gain a new level of respect for the rules after receiving attention from the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol, as the captain, Chev Ruz, is an instrumental part of that team. The Fortress of Meripede doesn't need her services. You know, some things are best preserved the way they are, warts and all, so people don't make the same mistakes twice. I say warts, but yeah, I mean the smell. The Fortress of Meripede works with Spina di Rasula on some matters regarding supplies and logistics, but we don't have any other dealings. This isn't because I don't trust Navia or her abilities. In fact, I hold her in quite high regard. The only reason we continue to stay out of each other's way is because I want to honor the agreement I made with the late Mr. Callus. <laughs> I'll admit that when I removed the House of the Heart's spies in the Underworld, that was kind of an intentional provocation to the Fatui. But their only response was to send down a bunch of children. Was it because they truly saw those kids as disposable, or because they knew I wouldn't have it in me to let them come to serious harm? <laughs>